y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I literally just woke up. Um, I sound a mess. I sound a mess. But um, anyways, hi, I'm Tasi, and welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome home. And if you're a new subscriber, make yourself at home by clicking that subscribe button. I look a mess. I sound a mess. And I don't feel a mess. But I'm, I'm a little, mm, just a little, mm. So today is, ooh, what is today's date? So today is May 20th, which means that like, I think, what was it, May 14th or May 15th is when retrograde ended. And y'all, I have been fighting for my life. This particular retrograde did something to me. Now, it's not that I'm not a believer in retrogrades but like i never understood them and i never understood like well why would this happen why would that happen da, 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 the planets align i like i don't even keep track of that stuff i don't keep track of the phases of the moon or anything like that so there have been times where like okay we went through a retrograde and i noticed little things here and there but it wasn't like dramatic as other people make it seem this one though i yeah yeah and it happened the day before the retrograde started and after that i was just getting jumped i mean so many things were happening it, it was it was a lot it was a lot i will say i realized a lot so there's a lot of things that i'm you know working on things are coming into fruition so that's always good but y'all the audacity for retrograde to do me like that and then I get my period. And then it seemed like the period was a part of the retrograde because I have never been that drained and exhausted on my menstrual before. Like that, that's never happened. It's never happened. I had a really needed talk with someone, a really needed talk. And then there's like this other person that's just kind of lingering in the background. If you follow me on TikTok, I went live about it and I talked to y'all about it. So y'all probably know if y'all follow me on TikTok, but y'all, moral of the story is I was going through it. I, I have been going through it and I have not been able to recuperate for real, for real. So today is going to be my recuperation day. And fingers crossed that this goes well, because y'all know that like vlog type of videos, they never work out for me. We got one vlog on this channel, one, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna pray and hope that this one makes it through. So all I'm doing today is really like cleaning up, self-care, just all of that. Cause honey, I don't think y'all understand. Like I, I'm, I'm not well, I'm not okay. It was too much. So first order of business, I'm brushing my teeth cause my breath is humming. It is because I literally just woke up and decided, you know what, this is going to be the video. So let's go fix that first. So tell me why I just forgot to charge my toothbrush. So it's not going to turn on. We already off to a bad start.
So y'all remember how last time we didn't even have a coffee pot. We were supposed to buy a new one. So my aunt, she gave us her old Keurig because she just didn't want it anymore because she changed in the colors of her kitchen. Child, it's a mess. But yeah, she gave us our, her Keurig and this is my first time using it. This don't taste like coffee. It don't taste like coffee at all. It tastes... It's like real weak. It's real weak, real watery. I don't know, are you supposed to put too, like, I don't know, I'm probably, it's probably me. I probably put too much water in it, but it tastes like just watered down coffee. And the fact that I added sugar and creamer, it just tastes like, like some type of milkshake. It don't taste like coffee though. Hopefully it does the trick because I'm going to be doing stuff today and I need it. So right now what I'm going to do is plan out next week because there's a lot of things that I meant to do last week and this week that I did not get a chance to do. I have to do a lot, a lot of things. I got to be active on my graphics page. So I don't think I ever told YouTube. So for those that don't know, I started a very small graphic design business. So I am currently doing services for um, YouTube, Twitch, and OF so if you guys are interested you need help just let me know I don't have a website yet so we're doing things via Instagram DMs and stuff like that but I um what was I saying so yeah in short I have to do content for that I have to make some mock-ups I have to um, practice doing logos because logos are about to be added in a second as well possibly party flyers like I'm trying to get into everything I just don't want to bite off more than I can chew I need to go back to working out because I don't know what I did last month but honey progress is gone the progress that I originally had is completely gone content I mean thank god I make like bulk content but like I've pretty much just been doing like Instagram reels and TikTok videos and for YouTube you know the YouTube shorts come in clutch the YouTube shorts come in clutch and hi all the new people that found me through there but overall like I have not posted on Instagram I haven't really been posting on YouTube like I used to I just need to get everything together I just need to get all of this stuff all the way tight and then we'll be good and if you guys are curious this is the planner that I use it's called planner pro it's purple and it has a picture of a feather on it this one is way more effective than the last planner that I had I don't even remember what that planners name was but the original planner that I had it actually got deleted from the app store so all of the stuff that I had I just had to redo it so if you guys are interested planner pro that's the one that I use Okay, so I'm done doing planning for next week and now I'm just coloring in this coloring book that I downloaded on my iPad. So like I said before, this retrograde really tried to do me in and there was a situation where I got so mad. I'm talking about I got so amped up. I had to try and calm myself down. So that's when I discovered this coloring book and I've been addicted ever since. I don't even know how many pictures I've made. So this is the name of the coloring book that I use. It's called Zen Color and it's a color by numbers coloring book. And this is the one that I'm currently working on. They have a lot, hold on, let me focus. Can you focus please? Okay, ooh, that was a struggle. So anyways, back to what I was saying. So this one is actually in the um, mystery tab. So I'm gonna show you guys how many pictures they have. So I'm currently in the mystery tab where like you have to fill it in as you go and then the picture will reveal itself. But they have like a whole lot of other options. I think they have um, 23, 23 or 25 categories. So you'll have all of these like this is calm and then you have the Zen pictures. I love the Zen pictures if you couldn't tell. They're so beautiful. And we have like um, focus, affection vibrant and they even got like other different ones where like with this one you see how in the corner it says special so it doesn't just come off like like how this picture looks it more so looks like let me see let me see let me see so this is the specials tab and I did like a few pictures so you see how different that looks as opposed to like the other pictures that I showed you you see how like the pictures look more detailed and it's more um 
like vibrant like the colors are more diverse that is the uh the special ones and every time you complete like a task or something they give you bonus pictures so all of these pictures are bonus pictures i've only done like two of them because those were the ones that i thought were like really really good and then they also have a tab where it's like you have a daily picture that you can color as well so for the whole month you can actually just pick new pictures and color them and i just thought that was cool like i just i've been addicted to it ever since so i'm just gonna take some time coloring my little coloring book so let's go back to it so i'm gonna take me a little break and i'm just gonna color and then after that i'm gonna go like um do some chores and then we're gonna get straight into the self-care and stuff like that so again this is not sponsored but i just wanted to show you guys that this is a time lapse of what i was doing to color in this picture this is a feature that they have that's completely free and i just thought that was so cool so i decided to show you guys and then not only that it's better than me showing you the picture on my ipad i can just play this video and boom there it is but again it's not sponsored it's just i thought this was really really cool Okay, so now I'm about to do skincare. I'm just about to put on a mask because my skin, again, I've been I've I've been out of it. So I have been neglecting my routine. So I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Well, first before I even do anything, oh my god, like I need to get rid of these hairs at the bottom. I told y'all I be having a beard sometimes and I got to get rid of that. And don't mind my background. Y'all know I'm not dirty. I just didn't feel like making the bed up just for me to sit here and do all this. I guess it has been a while since we've done like a talking video. I don't really have much to talk about with y'all though. Okay, so let me be real. Like, there's something to talk about, but I plan on making a video about it. So like, it ain't nothing to talk about currently. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's just nothing that I'm willing to talk about on camera just yet. But, um, you know what I will talk about with y'all though? Let's talk about my emotions during this particular retrograde, okay? So, like I said, I don't really keep up with the moon phases and when retrograde is coming. I don't really, like, you know, keep in contact with stuff like that. I usually learn it once y'all talk about it or, um when my best friend talks about it because I really do be lost in the sauce. Like I never know what exactly is going on at any given time. And that's just the honest to God truth. So one thing that I did know about this particular retrograde is that this particular retrograde is about purging. Apparently it was about breaking old patterns and um, you know, all that other stuff. And I have to find the TikTok 
I think I downloaded it. It should be in my phone. But basically, somebody had said that this past retrograde was the worst time to try and manifest anything because this particular retrograde was about purging. So this was the time to do like um, cord cutting rituals and stuff like that. Okay, guys, so Scorpio lunar eclipse is coming and there are a few things that you must not do. And I know this energy is intense. I don't know about you guys. Maybe it's just my Scorpio because I'm a Scorpio um, in a lot of my chart. So if you're a Scorpio, let me know down below how you're feeling. Let's check in before I go into this because we just need to go over a couple, a few things that you cannot do three days before the day and three days after. So let's listen. Number one, number uno, what you should not do. Do not respond to texts to your ex or the people in the woodwork. I talked about this in the last video about what can happen in the energy update in TikTok. If you haven't watched it, go watch it on my feed after this. But um, a lot of this energy with us going in Mercury retrograde, a lot of planets moving right now, it's just not the time, okay? But what it is a good time to is cord cut. So you can cord cut. You can let anger out, do all the things you need to do energetically. It might even dissolve and that person you won't even care anymore. But please, <laughs> just... Just listen to me on this one. This isn't a time to tell them about how annoying they were and how horrible it was that they they broke up with you in a wrong way. So yeah, not the time. Number two, do not sign any major contracts. Let's not do it. Let's wait until May 15th, okay? We can start working about on them. We can start thinking about them, but don't finalize anything until May 15th, okay? because of the retrograde and we also have eclipse on top of this this don't worry it's our last eclipse until 2031 in scorpio so you guys got a break the next thing not to do on this scorpio lunar eclipse this full moon and this one is actually something that people aren't talking about online and it's interesting because you know the spiritual community there's so many of these videos do not manifest. This is not a this is not an energy you want to manifest. Lunar eclipse in Scorpio is about death. It's about like purging. It's about color cutting. It's about clearing. It's about deep, 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 dark feminine. It's about going deep into the things we don't want to look at. So in that energy, do we want to manifest? It's not saying that you won't manifest because we're constantly law of attraction manifesting our reality. But this isn't a time to do your manifestation, you know, rituals for you to do your moon water. Don't do that. That's not time. It's great to cleanse, do a cleansing bath, but not moon water, okay? But what you can do is ask yourself, what are the things that I need to shed? What are the relationships I want to cut? What is the energy I want to cut in order for me for the next cycle after around May 15th, even between May 7th to May 15th, so I can start manifesting and being on top of that energy, honey. When you got that, you're good. You're Gucci. I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Don't let your mental health be the definition of you instead of attacking your anxiety and depression ask yourself what is my needs how can i self-soothe myself during this scorpio full moon so here is the thing that i am willing to talk to you guys about because it's not giving you too 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 much detail but it's giving you just enough so there was this boy from my past right and we've been complicated for a while like a good good while and once this retrograde had came i just had the urge to reach out to him to talk to him to just like you know invest myself and envelop myself in his presence and when i tell you i have not spoke to this man seen this man heard this man talk to this man i have had no contact with this man for some years i'm talking about the last time we talked was like probably 2018 He's not on any of my socials anymore. Like, he's gone. He's gone. We are in the year 2023. So that was, that was five years ago. Five complete years ago. I have not heard this man, talked to this man, nothing, nothing. You hear me? Why did he just suddenly pop up? That was a little weird to me. So then I start going through all types of crazy emotions because like, long story short, I had a dream. I had a dream about the boy. And after that, I start feeling so crazy. I start feeling so obsessed. It's like, it was painful. I could feel this man thinking about me. That's what it felt like. And I'm like, absolute 
absolutely not. Absolutely not. You're not coming back. Oh, honey, you're not coming back. Like I said, it was complicated. It was a lot. I was always drained after my affiliations with him. Like, it's not going to happen. It's not going to work. So, sir, wish you the best. That's not going to happen. So, I took the initiative to start a cord cutting ritual, right? So, I never did one. Because I never thought that I had that close of a tie to somebody that I needed to get rid of. But apparently I do. So, when I did this particular ritual, I learned from this lady that I found on the World Wide of YouTube. And she had said, okay, this is what you're going to do. You're going to play some song bowls in the background. And you're going to light a white candle. While the candle is burning and while the music is going, you're going to write a letter to this person as if you are speaking directly to that person. You let everything out. Everything out. So I did that. And then she had said, read over the letter as many times as you need to. That way you can go through the emotions that you need to go through, process everything that you need to process. And then after you are done with that, you release it into love and light and you burn it. After you burn it, you do a meditation, specifically a cord cutting meditation. After that, you should be fine. Y'all, when I tell you that I sat there and I did everything that I was supposed to do. It comes time for us to burn the letter. Why did the letter only burn halfway through? And again, I'm gonna make a video about it later, okay? But there was this one particular part of the letter that didn't burn and I freaked out because I'm like, what type of sign is this? What are you trying to tell me? Cause I didn't agree to this. This is not happening, like bro this is not going to happen so the next day so i grabbed my lighter i made sure that i put extra butane in it just in case and tell me why i go to burn the letter again now my lighter doesn't work what's up with that why is the lighter not working and i just put fluid in here and it's not working okay now i'm disturbed this man got a, a hex on me or something. I don't know. But I just took it for what it was. I'm like, okay, whatever. I did the meditation for the cord cutting. And I definitely felt like there was a weight lifted off of my shoulders. But I can say that right now, I'm cool. I'm good. I came to a very big conclusion recently when it came to the situation between me and him. I, I will say that. But... It's still like this lingering feeling and this gut feeling that one day he's going to try to reach out to me. And it's freaking me out because again, I'm just ready to move on with my life. So like, why is this happening? Why? Cause I didn't agree. I didn't agree to it. So what are we doing? So yeah, like that was part of the reason why this retrograde was hard for me because that was literally all that I was dealing with. I'm like, what what message are you trying to send me sir like we were teenagers the last time we spoke to each other we grown now what you doing <laughs> like like i'm saying like is bruh even my type at this point i just y'all it's been crazy let me know in the comments down below how y'all were surviving because girl i was going through it I was going through it. Oh my God, I was going through it. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this off and then I'm gonna put a mask on. I'm only gonna use Aztec clay. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like in a minute, but um. Oh, I hate the smell of hair removal. And honestly, when they try to add scents to it, it just makes it worse, honestly. But the smell is just gross. Okay, so now I'm just gonna use some Aztec clay. I already have it in this little container. This is the container that I used to use to mix it up, but I put so much in here. I've been using it for like, I don't even know how long. So I already put water in it because again, I've had it in here for so long, it dried out. But all I'm gonna do now that it has water in it, I'm just gonna shake it. And that's gonna make it turn into a paste really quick. Oh! Oh my god. Oh god, I let a moth in here. Gross. Okay, so this should be good at this point. Oh yeah, that's perfect. I used to do this like once a week. When I tell y'all that Aztec clay is like 
literally a saving grace this helps me with not only my acne that's on my face but it helps me with um ingrown hairs it helps me with my eczema like i'm gonna have to use this for the rest of my life for everything because it legit is like that good it's so good and a tip for like if you like you know shave down there in the bikini area it is oh my god it feels so good after a nice shave like whether you shave wax um whether you like use like nair and you just like chemical peel it off when i tell you that not only takes down the possibility of like ingrown hairs but it just it just makes your 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 yon stemmy just feel so smooth and so good oh my god and it just makes me think like how long has this been a product because i should have been using this a long time ago and it lasts like i still have my jar my first initial jar that i bought i still have it and that's been like probably three years old at this point okay so i'm gonna let this dry for 20 minutes and then i'm going to take it off and then go into my face routine and for those that want a detailed skincare routine i've already made a video about that like way long ago i will link it up here and i will link it down below if you guys are interested in it and you want all the details of all the products that i use go watch that video but i will see you guys in 20 minutes Okay, so skin is all done. Now I'm going to do my feet and my nails because they are in desperate need of some TLC. I meant to do them a long time ago and I completely forgot. So I'm gonna show you guys me doing my nails, like officially doing my nails because I briefly did it in a previous video, but you guys didn't see the whole entire thing. So now you're gonna see the whole thing.
Hey guys, it's Sunday. I completely forgot to close out the video yesterday, but this is one of them situations where everything happens for a reason because I just got called to give a message for some reason. Like, I, I don't I don't know, this don't usually happen to me, so bear with me. Um, in the process, I'm gonna like do a little bit of my makeup or whatever because I do plan on taking pictures today. Um, but yeah, I just, I got called to kind of like drop some knowledge on people so i guess this is how we're gonna close out the video so again it low-key has to do with this past retrograde and like me coming to a lot of conclusions and having like a very reflection like a big reflection on what's going on in my life and one thing that i have learned is that sometimes you can't go through life based off of what you want. Sometimes you literally are given exactly what you need. We do not know as much about life as we would like to believe. So there are certain moments where, you know what? I would have liked it if it would have went this way instead of this way, but sometimes it was meant to be that way because the very thing that you wanted was not good enough for you sometimes we can unintentionally subconsciously settle for things and i feel like whether you believe in god the universe or whatever you believe in i do genuinely feel like whoever you praise whatever you praise they are not going to put you on a path that you don't deserve to be on so if there is ever a situation where something that you really 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 want doesn't work out it doesn't make you less of a person and it doesn't make you look any you know any type of way you could feel that way because again you're unintentionally basing your success off of the next person's success but the reality of it is is that sometimes there is something way bigger in store for you than what you can comprehend at that moment and i don't know why again i i, I don't know why but I was just called to tell y'all that I, I don't know because understand this is a message to me as well. This is a message to me as well, but something just told me like, I need to tell the world. I need to tell everybody that. So whoever you are, Hey bitch, <laughs> like take, take what I said with a grain of salt, but listen to what I'm saying. So guys, that is the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do not forget to like it. Comment down below any of your self-care tips that you have. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't. And of course, share if you can. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Leave me